I ended up having to pay for it with my own money. But I decided that since I know enough about woodworking now, I'll actually be able to use this use this knowledge that I gained to build a coffee table for my family, something like that. that will be a good summer project. Another thing that caused problems for me was that these four top pieces originally did not fit together correctly, and I guess me and Mr. Sasson, I didn't realize it when we were cutting it. So I ended up just at home one day uh, cutting, using our own chop saw to cut the right angles into the wood so that they would all fit together, which was really scary for me. I was, I could have messed it up right then and there, but I decided that I'd have confidence in what I've learned so far, and I did it. Everything worked out, and as you can see, these pieces fit together really, really well. Now, another aspect of senior project was the sen was the senior paper, which, uh, since I had done this project for my church, I decided to take a religious standpoint on my senior paper. And while doing uh, the research on the internet, I noticed a lot of articles were about religious intolerance. Like, there was all kinds of hate crimes happening all over the United States. Turns out there's over 1,500 religious-based hate crimes in the U.S. per year. And I figure, for the land of the free, that's a little bit too high. So what my senior paper was talking about was uh, it, I proposed to uh, get legislation through Congress to uh, increase the punishment, make sure there's less incentive for a person to cause these crimes, because obviously these crimes are just absolutely awful. They cause emotional, physical pain to people, and this isn't something that could take place in our country. So uh, through my uh, paper, I was uh, proposing the legislation and also to implement a zero tolerance policy for religious hate crimes like this in schools, because there are a bunch of schools across the U.S. that don't have these, and it's within these schools that kids feel like it's okay to discriminate based on religion, and it's certainly not okay. It's something that we need to change in this country. The Constitution guarantees religious freedom for every individual, and if we don't enforce that, then what can we enforce? We've got to base, we've got to live up to what we have uh, started with our Constitution. Now, uh, for my stretch, it was really a stretch for me because I had never done woodworking before. It really was something completely foreign to me. And so I really had to, as I said before, I had to learn the entire time. I wasn't completely confident in my skills before, but now I've learned a lot about it. And another thing was that I really don't do as much work for my church as I should have. And uh, this was a good chance for me to give back to my church. All in all, I really learned a lot from this project. It was great for me. I gained so much knowledge out of it, time management, working with uh, problems. I learned so many skills. And at the same time, I got to give back to the church that's been given to me for my 18 years of my life. And it was just a great experience. I wouldn't say I'd do the whole project again, but I'd love to finish like this again. And it was just an amazing experience throughout the entire thing, and I'm very glad I did it. I'd like to thank you all for coming to my project, and if uh, you have any questions, ask them now. So you said it initially was going to be an outside bench, but now it's an inside bench, so where's it going to be? It will be within, uh, I think uh, my mentor, Chris Schwartz, decided that uh, it's even though it can't stay outside for like seasons at a time, it can still be outside for like a couple of days at a time at least. And she, youth, for youth ministry confirmation classes, they always have retreats going on, camping trips. And she thinks that this would be a great thing to bring along as a place to reflect. So she'll keep it in her office until she needs it for a trip like that. Luckily, the wood is generally light. The rocks are kind of heavy, but it's not too much of a burden to carry. Yes. <coughs> observation. Hmm? Religious tolerance, my observation is tolerance for my religion. Um, is that somewhat what you've discovered or what you've been looking for? Would you take an exception to that? I would say it's all religions. Like, there are 
even though Christians, like my religion, generally is less discriminated against, it's still out. It's still a problem. There are Christian kids that feel like their beliefs are being suppressed. They can't express themselves. And religious expression, even though it's not 100% guaranteed by the government, it's not 100% protected by the government, it still needs to be enforced to, the extent, uh, to some extent. Uh, in your paper, has it not been guaranteed and then in those countries where it is guaranteed how is it guaranteed how does a country guarantee tolerance well like it for to not be guaranteed like in afghanistan currently there's all kinds of uh, religious kind of it's, they're not exactly hate crimes it's more of like the just plain discrimination like we will not serve you because you're a shiite give this service to you because you're Sunni Muslim. Like, it's just things like that all over the world. And that's just a little example. I can't exactly say all examples. But then, like, in our country, for example, it's the government's duty to make sure that each person can believe what they want and that they are not oppressed from believing it. That they'll be able to express what they really want to do without uh, the uh, worry that they will Oh, very good. We're going to have to call it quits or we're not going to be ready for our next one. So. <laughs> Take a while.